The following scripts have been created to help make you aware of how your words, tone and facial expressions can affect young people with disabilities or additional needs. It's important to think before you communicate to make sure you don't offend anyone. So please, make sure you use your words carefully. How are you feeling then, my buddy? I'm feeling a little nervous. Do you think she'll listen to me? and my concerns. You know, I just have a little pit in my stomach. Oh, Daniel, you have nothing to worry about. I am a little scared, but I love Dad. If he wasn't here, man, would I have been all over the place. He always listens to how I feel and gives me the space to voice my thoughts. Take a deep breath. You've got this. Good morning, guys. How are you feeling, Daniel? You OK with Dad to be present during our meeting? I am a little nervous, but I'm fine. And it's OK. Dad can be present. Don't be nervous. It's OK. We're just having an informal chat. I want to get to know you better, if that's OK with you. Please feel free to stop me at any time. Are you OK to start? Yes, I am. Good. If you have any questions or don't understand what I'm saying, then stop me. I will explain it in a different way to make it easier for you to understand. OK, thank you for clarifying. As I feel relaxed now, that I don't have to stress over not being able to remember what's being said. You do not have to stress or worry, because I'm going to be writing down notes during our chat. So after the meeting, I will go back to my office and type up the notes. I will send you a copy by email. Is that OK with you, Daniel? Perfect. Shall we start now? Yes, we shall start. She is addressing me to make sure I am included in the conversation and I feel comfortable. I feel happy that I have a social worker who I can trust and understand about my needs. Daniel, thank you for meeting with me today. You have given me a lot to think about how we can support you moving forward with your future. You are very welcome. I'm happy now that I don't have to worry about dealing with my future on my own. I will send you a copy of our notes of what we have discussed today. Bye, Daniel. It was lovely to meet you. Likewise. Bye. I thought Daniel was a lovely guy. I'm glad I got to know him more now, so I can support him to achieve his future dreams. Well, Daniel, I have to say that was a successful meeting and you did not even need me there. I am so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Glad I've finally got a social worker who can take the time and trouble to really understand me, not just my disability. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Hey Danny boy, yeah, we are good, thanks. How about you mate? Oh yeah, I'm brilliant, thanks. Guess what, you are never going to believe what finally happened. Well spit it out, don't keep us in the suspense. I have now got an even better new social worker named Kim. She really understands me and my autism. Oh yeah, I remember you saying you had a terrible social worker who came to visit you six weeks ago. What was his name again? Oh yeah, him. His name was George. I absolutely did not like him. Can you remind us why you don't like him? Oh God, yeah. When George came round six weeks ago to meet with me and my dad, he kept asking my dad loads of questions, not letting me say what I want. But when I said, I can do this, George sort of laughed and looked down at me like I was a child and spoke to me in the most annoying, patronising voice ever. Plus, I felt like I was invisible in the room. I honestly felt like I wanted to have serious words with him on your behalf. Nobody should be able to treat you like that, especially when you have autism. Michael, you have a social worker who's understanding like Kim. 
Yeah, I have a social worker who visits me every few weeks. A bit like Dan's new social worker, Kim. Alfie is really understanding about my ADHD condition. Took me time to to me discussing about my feelings about the future, how I want my future to look, and what steps I need to take get to the point. We also took breaks in between, as you know. I can get very hyper, I cannot focus that well. So taking Blake Scream helps me to calm down and get my thoughts together. You both are really lucky to have good social workers who really understand young people who have additional needs and disabilities. Every social worker I've been with are useless as they don't understand me and don't know how to communicate with me because of my hearing loss. In fact, when I go to appointments to see occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, they turn to me like they assume everything about me when they don't understand what sign language is or how they can communicate with me and they always think I can hear them when they are talking without sign language. I think social workers in the children and family service should receive training on how to communicate with young people like us and learn how to adapt to these situation to make communication much easier for young people who have disabilities and no needs and to understand that language isn't just words. It's all about attitudes, facial expressions and body language they use and not use jargon words to be able to understand that everyone has different abilities. I totally agree with you, as it's important to include every young person who have additional needs and disabilities to get their voices heard in the community and make a difference in the world. Do you understand it now? The term special makes us feel like we're different, when really, we're just the same as you. Using the term additional makes every young person with disabilities or additional needs feel more welcome and empowered in this society.